Okay guys, welcome back to my another video. So today we're gonna try out CMS, which is the dry hack me challenge. So we get the IP first. Now we try to scan for open ports. So the NMSS. Okay. Let's try to check and see. Okay, so we found there's two ports over here. And over here, it did mention that we need to add cms.thn into our etc host so let's add it into it first okay. okay the ip and then cms.thm correct right cms.thm yeah okay we save it so now let's try to browse into the website first cms.hm okay so over here we saw that there's a gila cms that it used which you can see about so here we try to perform enumeration using fuss first yeah let's create ffuf cms.hm so we use the this word this can be big use this map which part did I mess up? Oh I forgot to specify as you said set fast it for one first then we try to enumerate over here click home search type like anything else transparency hmm transparency is there any fine inclusion explanation for it now <coughs> it seems it's not vulnerable to it. Never mind. Click over here. It seems like nothing much over here. Mm. From our fuzzing, so and there's an admin page. Let's try and check and see the admin page. Okay, it seems that we found over here. It need the credential to log in. Try admin. Okay. This is we can because it need to be our email mail.com It's not working. Never mind. So it seems like this is not the path for it. We try to and see is there any subdomain for it not? We use F is a Z. Then the word list. This one I'm gonna use this word list. Script uh discovery then S gonna chance is there any subdomain for it 5000 and then the host will be hmm run the fast for the subdomains sub so push n and then crunch and see is there any else hmm It's gonna take a while. Okay, this this seems like everything going to be repeat, right? For one zero seven line, so one zero seven. It seems like you can't find any subdomain for that one. We try to exclude it. And one zero seven. Then we start to fast again, and it seems like we found a subdomain, which is this one, for line thirty and dev the subdomain. We try to add into our DC host and then do here this path dv.cmas.hm save it and then we try to browse it cmas.hm okay seems like we found something special here we saw Andrew asking to reset the password yeah Andrew asked to reset the password and this is the credential for it. So this is the email and this is the password. We we'll try and see can we log into it or not? And then this one password. Oops, wrong email. Then mess out something else. And true. Never mind, let's try again. Added the password. Hmm. 
Okay, we successfully entered into here already. So now, try and see is that this is the version, right? Gila CMS version. Try and see is there any exploit for it? Gila, go to CVE details. This one we can close here already because we found it already. So, let's try and change and see Gila CMS. Gila CMS. Is there any exploit for it? We got four vulnerabilities. And we found a directory traversing flag inclusion. This one, Gila CMS before 1.11.1. .1. This one is 1.10, so this one is vulnerable to it. Allow admin directly leading to local file inclusion. Okay, authentication it need. So try and change see this one. Maybe this one. And seems like we can upload our file over here. Try to upload our backdoor over here. So now we go to the stop. Oh, no. Where's my river shell? River shell again. This one. Try to upload the river shell into it. Let's try and see my IP. Okay, 0.9.23.162. Okay, that's correct. Okay. We open up our listener first. Okay, and then upload it into it. Browser River Shell, yeah, this one. Okay, so I've uploaded my file over there already, and it's stored inside the assets. This is our River Shell over here. So we're trying to access it first. Summer fish and River Shell dot PHP. Okay, we got our River Shell. Let's try to get our more stable TTY shell for TTY, TTY port spawn, bin bash. Okay, and then export, export, export. Okay, good. So we are inside the root. Eh, no, 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 it is the root directory. Yeah, root directory. So now let's try to and see can we access it to the user file or not? Okay, it seems like we can't cancel, but we saw that there's an Android uh, username. So I try to enumerate chance is then anything else special over here or not? Try to and see OPT. Some, sometimes OPT got a lot of juicy stuff to it. Oops, it seems like we found something special over here. Dot password dot bug. Oops, I think we saw some address credential over here. We try to see if can we SSH into here now. SSH SSH Andrew Lions SMS.hm Password, Let's try to use this password and see. Oops, we can get into it. We try and chance is there any pseudo privilege or not? And Android don't have any pseudo privilege. Now, my chance the home file, there's a backup. So, there's the user flag. So, we try and see into the backup first. SLA. And we saw a node over here. We try and see once. What does it write over there? Not to self, anything in here will be backed up. Hmm, will be backed up. Seems like it's a cron job, right? Cron tab. Check and see the cron tab. You see cron tab. Uh, so here, this one, this line, something special here. You see, it run as a root user, CD home, and real backup, which is this path. The node place over here. And you're going to use star to, to back up all the files in there and save it into temp. Let's try and see if there's anything else over here in temp. And yeah, and that's the file over here. And then, yep, in 
npm.52 you just back up the file so over here it shows that every 2 minutes it's going to back up the file so let's try and see can we find anything to exploit this one or not go to tawal done privilege solution Can you see is then thing over here? Yeah, the first method and we can use this one to abuse it to get our reverse shell as a root user. So let's use this one. We'll copy this one first and then We can edit a script over here. So this one we remove it. We don't want this one. We edit our IP 10.9.23.162 and then the port 2015. Okay, I think nothing need to edit already. Copy this one. So here we just close this one. 7715. We open our listener. Let's <coughs> kill it. And then we paste all of this into it. Shell see. Okay. So we got our shell over here. <coughs> so basically for this one, because for it, we got our root already over here. Right? So basically how does this run? This one in because for the current job, right? You just start to backup everything using a walk up. Everything inside the file inside the folder will be backed up. So the first one you're gonna execute is this one, the shell. Execute this one first. Execute and then this one checkpoint one and this one each time when it back up, right? You're gonna execute it as a sh Execute this one sh shell dot sh. So each time when you run, you're gonna execute the, the script. So since that this cron job is run as a root user, so it will return, it will execute as a root user. That's why we can get our user as a root uh, for our reverse shell. So for the three, we upgrade into a better shell. Okay. So we can we can access this one. Okay, so we are successfully own CMS. So this is a root flag for it. So basically that's how we can abuse cron tab to privilege escalate escalate it. So that's all for my video. Thank you guys. Bye bye.